Hey, today we're gonna to be going over the installation of the Morimoto XB LED headlights and the four banger fog lights on this 2018 Ford F-150 Shelby. Beautiful truck. You can see it comes with the factory LED lights that are found on the Fords. Definitely a big step up from the halogens, but they definitely leave some room for improvement, let's say. And we'll show you that later in the video about what separates the Morimoto XB lights from the factory Ford headlights, what you gain. So the Morimoto lights are fully blacked out with four projectors, and these have a very specific LED reflector system. It was pretty good for its time. I think Ford was experimenting with uh, this kind of technology, but the projectors are much more they're a lot stronger. They offer better width and better performance overall. And we'll show you how that all uh, looks in just a moment. All right, so we've got the factory LED low beams on. You can see just this top reflector turns on. The bottom one is a high beam. You got the LED outline. And we'll show you this performance right over here. So you can see there's not a ton of width in this setup. And overall, it's not, it's pretty well defined, but it's not super sharp like you'd see out of a projector system. The lights are high. This is directly off of the, uh, directly from Shelby, I guess, when they, uh, when they take care of the upgrades on it. We're going to lower the alignment of the headlights on the Morimoto's when it's done because the customer is complaining about getting flash a lot. But you can see overall it's got two, what we call hot spots. Other than that, it doesn't have a ton of width and they're a little blotchy. So we're gonna take a before reading of the Lux, and we'll compare that later on in the video with the Morimoto's. Don't even have to bend down too much. Let's see. So, yeah, we hit about 260 Lux, which is really not that impressive overall. We've actually seen halogen setups that are brighter than that. So stay tuned. Later in the video, we'll go over the Morimoto XB LED headlights, the performance and how they differ. So almost forgot, these have the factory LED fog lights, which you don't see too often. They look just like the halogens, except they're full LED assembly. They look nice. And their spread is pretty decent, actually. It's pretty wide for a reflector setup. Pretty well concentrated. Not super bright, but definitely a lot better than the halogen fog lights that come on the Fords. Do a quick reading. So about 100 lux, you see. It's pretty solid. But we'll show you the Morimoto 4 bangers in just a little bit once those get installed. So factory 18 to 20 Ford F-150 LED headlight. And we're just doing a side-by-side -side with the Morimoto's. Just check out the design elements and see how they differ. So a small piece of uh, amber reflector here. Got a much larger one on this side. The turn signal is fully integrated into that LED daytime running light. And you're gonna see the top portion of it change to amber in that sequential or standard signal. And I believe on the Ford one, I didn't activate it, but I believe it's right in the middle. And of course you got the four projectors that are gonna line, light up when the low beams are on. And I believe they changed it. So now only the lower ones will become high beam versus the high beam one coming on alone on the bottom. And obviously the gloss black housings. All right, so I've just assembled the Morimoto four banger on the left, factory Ford LED fog light on the right. So the four banger consists of a LED pod and then model specific brackets literally just screwed them in with a torque screw super easy plugged up the model specific dt input which is uh 9006 in this case and it's ready to go and we're going to be reusing the white threaded piece for the adjuster along with the screw and the spring and we'll show you how this looks in a second quick overview of the turn signals with the Morimoto, you have the standard or the sequential turn signal. That top row on the right on the Morimoto will uh, have a sequence motion. Or you could do standard as well, but that's comparing to the factory on the passenger side. 
And here is a comparison with the Morimoto low beams on on the driver's side and the factory LED headlights on the passenger side. So all four projectors will be low beam and the lower ones will be high beam. So totally th different look. We've also got the four banger installed on the bottom. We'll show you that in a second. All right, so we got the Morimoto headlights installed. You can see that gloss black housing really gives a whole new look to the front end. We're gonna turn on the ignition now for you. And you can see what that does. It activates the Bugatti startup sequence and just the projectors kind of going through their motions. It's a cool startup feature that the Morimoto lights have. This is the daytime running light mode. It's connected to the uh, fuse box. So you get that super, super, super bright DRL during the daytime. And we can show you turn signal. So again, only that top portion changes to amber. And that is the sequential style. And you can also have the standard style as well. So we're gonna turn on low beams for you. So you can see the LED strip dims to about 50%. That's much, that's a much su more suitable intensity for the nighttime. It's still really bright. It's still really consistent. And in a moment, we're gonna measure the output, see what we gained and just analyze the beam pattern. But check out how good that looks. Those four projectors, it's a whole new look to this front end. All right, so this is the output. The vehicle is in the same exact position as it was. We haven't moved it. You can see how much more well-defined that beam pattern is. Really, really nice and wide. There's no light above the cutoff. They've done a really, really nice job with these lights. And we're gonna measure them because that's what counts. And these lights aren't always just about looking good. The Morimoto lights do perform better than all the other lights on the market. So if you recall before, I think we were hitting about, I don't know, high 200s or 300 lux. With these lights, we're hitting at 1100 lux. So it's almost four times as bright. It's quite ridiculous because our custom conversions with really, really high Anastram bulbs are hitting about the same uh, point. So, you know, they've done a fantastic job retaining OEM beam distribution, exceeding the performance of the factory Ford headlights. It's really, really quite amazing. And we're gonna get into the fog lights next. So we're gonna turn on the fog lights alone. Again, Morimoto four banger. This is the HXB version. saw earlier in the video completely different look you got three separate LEDs there and we've turned on the fog lights alone <sighs> gotta get low here but where we at about 300 lux or so 330 so about three times brighter than the factory Ford LED fog lights and you can expect a, a wider beam pattern as well. It's hard to see in the shop, but I can definitely tell we've gained a lot of width. If you have any questions, email us. It's info at lightworks.net. Check out the website. We've got these products available. The XB lights are stocked in warehouses all around the country. So customers are getting them really, really fast. And leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you.